Hey, Zach, what's up? Yo, Drew, I hear you're in LA. Yeah, yeah, I'm here, it's great. Well, listen, Zach and I wanted to let you know we are playing a Cobra Kai concert at the Troubadour on Thursday, and we want you to come. Really? Oh, Drew, Vince DiCola of Vince DiCola fame is gonna be opening the concert for us. So is there any way you can go to his house for the concert and do an interview with him first. I could do that. Yeah, man, we would love if you could put together a movie or documentary of the Cobra Kai concert. If you come to our rehearsals, uh, you could come film and get some footage. And uh, I don't know, is there any way you would want to do that? I would love to. I, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can make that work. All right, Drew, thank you. We cannot wait to see you. We love you so much. Many kisses. Okay, uh, I'll see you then. Bye. All right, so right now we are outside of Vince DiCola's house. Vince is the composer of Staying Alive, Rocky IV, and the Transformers movie. And he's also going to be opening for Zack and Leo at the Cobra Kai concert at the Troubadour on Thursday. So it's pretty cool. We'll be able to talk to him, see some of his setup. The music from Cobra Kai, Zack and Leo have said, was influenced by Vince, all of his music. So we'll get to talk to him, maybe get some teases about the concert, get a look at his process and learn more about the work that he's done over the years. So let's go and chat with him. See you. Nice to meet you, nice Drew. To meet you. Hey, Drew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This Hi. is Ken. Hi, Ken. Hi, nice to meet you. It's great. Come on in. Thank you. Are, are we good? We are. We are rolling. Awesome. Awesome. So, can you talk about like like your first introduction to music? Like, what made you want to do this as a career? Um. You know, I started taking piano lessons when I was uh, five years old in Catholic school. A little short nun taught me. And, uh, you know, I, I enjoyed, I knew that I enjoyed music at that time. Uh, and it was a good thing that my parents got me started at an early age to take lessons and stuff. But it wasn't until I was probably about 11 or 12 that I started realizing I could sit at a piano after having listened to a song on the radio and play it by ear. And that's when I really started to get excited about, you know, mm -hmm. maybe this is a career for me. And uh, in 19, let's see, maybe 1979, 1980, I decided I had gone as far as I could go in the local area where I grew up in, which was Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And uh, uh, it was advised that uh, I move to one of the areas of the country where music is more prominent, more prevalent. So I chose L.A. because this is where a lot of the music uh, that I love was being produced. So I moved out here with my wife and I had no intentions of writing music for film or TV or anything. I was going to be a session player, keyboard player. And um, in 1982, I was hooked up with Sylvester Stallone's brother, Frank, which led to the opportunity to write some songs for the movie Staying Alive. That was, that was my first foray into the L.A. film music scene. So yeah, by then I knew definitely what I wanted to do with yeah. my life. That's great, and that's a, that's a great like, first project. That's, oh, a, yeah. that's a big project it's to work big, on. big, huge. It was, it was a little um, overwhelming, to be honest with you, because it was within 
a year and a half of moving here that I got that opportunity. And where, you know, it normally happens the other way around for people that come to L.A. And, and uh, you know, it takes years to build up uh, connections and stuff. So I got really, really fortunate, really lucky by meeting um, Sylvester Stallone's brother. And, of course, the Staying Alive experience led to Rocky IV, which was, you know, a couple years after that. So, yeah, what a great way to start out in the business. I, I was very spoiled by that. Yeah. So how did, because Bill Conti, yeah. um, also the composer of The Karate Kid, yeah. um, he did the first three Rocky films. Yes. So how did um, that whole like thing come to be where now you were the one doing the, the fourth one? Uh, I'll tell you the truth. I, when, when I was campaigning for that job, I was convinced that I wouldn't get it because it was a very big, long shot. But the nice thing is the connection that I had was my manager happened to be the music supervisor on Rocky IV. So he had this whole plan of um, inviting me to do a, a demo of five songs and he was going to plan the right time to present this to Sylvester Stallone. And I'm, 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 this is a long answer to your question, but I am going to get to the answer. Uh, I was convinced that, you know, I heard that Bill was not going to be able to do the fourth one because they had had a falling out of some sort. And my manager, Robin, was saying, Vince, I feel you could do this. And I said, well, he said, admittedly, it's a very long shot because you don't have a track record. You know, you're going to be up against a lot of composers who have a track record, a lot of agents who represent composers who have a lot of track records, a big track record. Um, so the point is... I was so convinced I wasn't going to get the gig that I didn't have time to worry about, um, you know, how, how am I going to how am I going to step into Bill Conti's shoes? What am I going to do? So I looked at it as an exercise, um, as an exercise, what it would be like to score a movie like a Rocky movie. And I got very, very, very lucky that when I finished my demo of five songs and I presented it to Rob and my manager. He said, I think you have a shot at this. That's when it started to get a little nerve wracking for me because I finally saw maybe this is a possibility here. So when I got the gig, when I found out that I got the gig, um, it always had been my intention of trying to find a way to incorporate Bill Conti's style into my own, make my own mark on it, bring it up to date a little bit. And, um, you know, it was sort of a natural process. I never... I, I don't think I ever came to a decision to rip off Bill Conti or anything yeah. like that. It was just trying to update his sound, mm -hmm. you know, bring it into contemporary times and rock it out a lot more. Mm -hmm. And uh, but, yeah, the, the stepping into the shoes of somebody like Bill Conti was at first very, uh, very overwhelming, but it turned out good. Well, you know, what's funny is your story is the same as Zach and Leo, because they're, they're also um, working on this existing franchise created by Bill Conti's yes. music. So, it, like, how did you guys, how did you and Zach and Leo, like, collaborate? And were you able to, like, kind of relate on that sense? Absolutely. Um, I was contacted by my manager maybe two years ago that there was a, uh, a performing rights society called ASCAP. And they had a program where they put composers together with other composers who influenced their work. And they approached Zach and Leo and said, if you want to do an episode for us, what composer would you choose to do it with? And they chose me wow. because they were apparently inspired by the work that I did for Rocky IV. And uh, I, I worked on a movie called Transformers, the movie, back in 1986 as well. And they, they loved the work on that. So we got together and did a Zoom session two years, about a year and a half, two years ago, and just hit it off immediately. And it was at that time that one of them said, we should do a concert together. I feel like we've got to get a live show going together. Oh, that'd oh be yeah. Great. That'd be fantastic. I, that I, think that's be... a, I think that's a pretty good double bill in I my opinion. Oh, yeah. Peter, get on that, would you? <laughs> 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 no, that's so brilliant. yeah maybe like you know we look forward to to meeting you in real life and and you know rocking together for sure like yeah, let's so let's, much let's do it i think that would be like an amazing double bill that's um an excellent idea and yeah i'd be into cool it, definitely and you know this is this is 
said, this happens so much in Hollywood that you, you hear people say this, oh yeah, well, it's never going to happen, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And sure enough, you know, a couple years later, they, they get in touch with Peter and said, we're doing a concert at the Troubadour, we'd like Vince to open up for us. Wow. So yeah, it was a, it's, it's been a great, I love those guys. They're just very down to earth and very talented and we obviously relate on a musical level. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So I'm curious what you think of the actual Cobra Kai score and like what Zach and Leo have done with that. I think it's phenomenal. I mean, having done what they had done, uh, taking Bill Conti's music and trying to put my own mark on it and put their mark on it, I really appreciate what they did. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I love what they did. I think their score is spot on for that show. And uh, I think the, sh the show was a great idea. It was great how this little project grew and grew and grew from YouTube to mm -hmm. Netflix yeah. and everything. And, you know, that's, I can relate to that as well because, you know, coming into, out to LA with no thought of writing music for films and TV, and all of a sudden I get, you know, an opportunity to write for a big movie. And that was great, and that was great. And, and I could see that that was happening with them you know, starting out, they didn't know where this was going to go. And, and I think there's a lot of people that said, oh, this is probably not going to go anywhere. But look what it's done. You know, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think they did a great job. And, and I mean, I'm, obviously, they're still doing it. And mm -hmm. it's going to just keep getting better. But, yeah, I relate to their music a lot. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what you guys have put together. Oh, I'm yeah. sure it's going to be epic. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Oh, my God. So, also, with Rocky IV, like, one of the, like, you know, probably going into any like, movie, like, you know, the training montage is like the big, like, how are we going to score? That's probably going to be the biggest musical piece. So like, can you talk about like your process creating a training montage? Oddly enough, that was the first piece that I tackled because I knew it would be the toughest and uh, the most important because every Rocky movie has that training scene. It's just mm -hmm. amazing from the first one where he's going up the steps and the whole deal. So um, that's where... I mean, my influences for that piece of music, um, uh, there's a band called Toto and had two keyboard players, amazing keyboard players, and I was very influenced by their sound. There was a progressive rock keyboard player from the 70s named Keith Emerson, who was with a band called Emerson, Lake and Palmer. And at the time, um, there was this big drum sound that was coming into popularity by uh, a drummer named Phil Collins, who plays with... Uh, uh, Genesis and he was just starting out on his own and he just he just created this amazing drum sound for radio and I thought I wanted that sound for the training montage and for all the Rocky the big stuff that I was going to do for Rocky so that was the three you know uh, sort of um, the elements that I chose that influenced me to write uh, all the music for Rocky 4 but the training montage specifically you know I had a head start by knowing and loving the three Rocky movies up to that point. Mm -hmm. I, I knew them by heart. I knew the music. Uh, I loved the whole, you know, talk about the underdog story. I loved mm -hmm. that. I loved that aspect of it. So I was able to draw inspiration from the first, the music from the first three Rocky movies and the training scenes specifically. And uh, <clears throat> oddly enough, or perhaps not oddly enough, my manager chose the training montage as the first piece to play for Sylvester Stallone when he was presenting me to him. And he didn't tell Sylvester who it was. He just said, I want you to listen to something. And, uh, and he, got, he got Sylvester alone in his trailer on the production of Rocky IV. And he said, I want you, you know, I'm gonna put some headphones on and I want you to listen to a piece of music. And, and Sly said, well, what is it? I'm, Robin says, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you who it is. I just want you to hear it, okay? And he said, Robin told the story later that within the first maybe 30 seconds, uh, Sly jumped out of his chair and said, who is this? Oh my God. And Robin said, this is Vince. And because and, uh, I had worked with Sylvester and Frank mm -hmm. on um, Staying Alive. So he knew who I was, but Robin didn't want to tell him because I was basically a nobody when it came to film scoring. So he wanted the music to speak for itself. So when he heard it was me, he said, yeah, sign him up. I, I love this. I think it's going to be perfect. So training montage was the piece that got me, got me the gig. Wow. Wow. And I love that piece. It's so, it's iconic. I mean, everybody around the world, like that's their workout music. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate. And, and people still talk about it after all these years. Yeah. 
which is fantastic. And I'll be playing that tomorrow night for sure. Oh, nice, oh, yeah. nice, awesome. Absolutely. Do you see like uh, fans like cover your work on like YouTube and yes. doing their own versions of it? Yes, that? and it's really, um, I mean, there's some versions that I, you know, I'm, I'm more partial to than others. Yeah. But just the fact that people care enough to, to recreate my music like that and in their own style. And it's usually, you know, more of a, uh, of a guitar driven um, sound that some of these people use, which is great because the way they convert the keyboard style to their guitar playing is, is really tasteful. So, oh, I appreciate that. It's a, it's, a, it's a big compliment to me that people choose to do that. Yeah. And we saw your studio over there. So, like, like that, that's so awesome. So, what's, like, your process when you're creating a score? Like, what's the first thing you do? How do you um, plan it all out and create? It? Um, starts with the piano. Starts with the piano. Starts with me sitting at the piano and either reading the script or preferably looking at the footage like I did with uh, Rocky IV. Now, when I did Transformers, and the reason I'm speaking of this is because the process changes from project to project depending on circumstances. They didn't have any finished footage for me to write to for Transformers. So I had to write to these storyboards, which are basically cartoons in cartoon panels, you know, and it's, and I, even though I said I had done that before to try and get myself the job, I had never done it before. And it was really, really a challenge. So that, um, you know, compared to Rocky IV, Transformers was much, of a, much more of a challenge because I had finished footage to look at when I was, fil when I was scoring Rocky IV. So the process was basically sitting at a piano, watching the footage, improvising, taping my ideas and then going back and and sort of finessing the music yeah yeah so you you do um like you've composed films you've also composed video games yes um you did the teenage mutant ninja yeah. turtles right so what, what's the difference uh between like like do you approach it differently composing a I, film and a video i do game? because in in video games you you're not really tied to picture as much you know because the picture is going to change for each user that's playing the game, um, you basically are just doing a general, okay, here's some action music, here's some piece music, here's some, you know, a genre, rather than having to, to mark certain spots in the picture, like with Rocky and Transformers, where there's so much action and you have to, you know, you have to musically hit the accents. That, that doesn't happen that much in video games, which is kind of freeing in that you just compose and uh, it's up to them to figure out how to put it into the game in a way that makes sense. But um, yeah, I like that. I like the fact that with video games, uh, I don't have to follow the picture as religiously as I do when I'm filming movies, yeah. or scoring movies rather. And for anybody out there who does music, who wants to do it as a career composing, do yeah. you have any advice? Wow. It's tough. Number one, business-wise. Um, you have to be very, you have to have a lot of faith in yourself. You have to be very honest with yourself, you know, constantly judge your music and put it up against music that you feel compelled to listen to. And is it as good? Is it as good as that music? And, and um, I think more than anything, what I would advise from a creative standpoint is that people try to have their own mark and their own signature on their sound because so much of film music has been, well, let me copy John Williams or let me copy Hans Zimmer or let me copy. Yeah, you can do that with today's technology. You can sound like anybody you want. But I urge people, even at the expense of getting work sometimes, and I've done this myself, you know, I have lost work where I refuse to imitate somebody. Mm -hmm. um, and I have gained work by saying, let me put my mark on this. Let me do my thing. Let me make my original statement on this. And that's what I did with Rocky. I was lucky, lucky to have that opportunity. So I would say for anybody getting into this business, stick to your guns and, and try to c develop your own unique voice. That's, that's my advice. That's great advice. Yeah. And last question. Sure. What can you tease about the concert on Thursday? What can fans expect? Well, I will be playing one piece of music with uh, Zach and Leo. Uh, can't say what it is. Uh, maybe they can and maybe they'll tell you t tonight or tomorrow. Um, 
I had a rehearsal with them last night that went extremely well. It was very exciting. We fell right into a collaboration on stage. Um, and um, I will be opening up the show with my band, and we're playing about a half hour's worth of music. And we'll be doing music from Staying Alive, from Rocky IV, and from Transformers. So it's, it promises to be a pretty exciting night of film and TV music. I'm so excited, Vince. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I have something for you. All right. Let me grab it. Okay. If some some Cobra Kai memorabilia. Okay. I got. If you want to choose which color, oh my I got Cobra, they're Cobra Kai bracelets, just like oh that one. Gosh. I don't. Do you have a favorite color? I have black. Black. I love black. <laughs> just like Ken's wearing the same one too. It's badass. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Great and gift. Thank you. Thank you for letting us record here and talk to you yeah, and absolutely. see everything. It's I mean, my pleasure, man. It's thank great, you. Great to meet you. You too. You too. Yeah. See ya. Okay. Bye. 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 Drew and Cobra Kai Kid. We are actually at Daniel's apartment complex from Karate Kid. I hate this bike! I hate this bike! I hate these bikes! I hate these stupid bikes! I hate them! I hate them! I hate this bike! I hate this freaking bike! This stupid bike! You know where you're standing right now. Mrs. Milo from the Karate Kid. Exactly. Daniel. How's it going, guys? Hi. I want to take a swing. I'm so hot. All right, if you jump in, I'll shoot it. Ready? I'm ready. Cobra Kai never dies. Fun time! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, God. This is great. <laughs> the pool from the Karate Kid, I'm actually swimming in it. Wow, this is insane. I don't really have any spare clothes, so I just I just decided to go for it, but it was worth it. I got to swim at the pool. It was great. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said he was on pitch. I never said he was pitchy. Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not a Cobra Kai fan. You don't even listen to the soundtrack. You're not even coming to the concert. All right. Yes. All right, I'm sorry. I love you too, Ma. All right, bye. Take a little break and then we'll come and do the instrumental stuff. It feels weird how it's from really yeah, push. It's one, two, test one, two. Oh, beautiful. This is beautiful. So, how many uh, followers do you have with all this stuff? On YouTube, I have over 200,000 subscribers. Are you serious? Yeah. I did a new album called Joe Bean Esposito Rhythm and the Blues. Rhythm and the letter N, the blues. We did a remake of You're the Best. Oh, so, really? Yeah, so check it out. Should we do a podcast together or something? Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Is Instagram like. 
good to contact you for that? Or? Yeah, I'll give you my phone number. Okay, cool. Bad, That's all it is, man. This is the man right here, one of the best around ever. Yeah, put your first name and last name in here. Got it. Take care, guys. Yeah. See you tomorrow, all right? Yeah. Take care. See you later. Joe is busy, though. Are you guys big fans of. I have not seen the newest season yet. Uh, but I I've seen everything leading up to it. I haven't it's finished incredible. season four yet, but yeah. Oh yeah, okay. I'm, we're, I'm like halfway through. I'm at the part where the kids got in a fight. Oh, well, that's every that's episode. Right. That's every episode. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know a lot of people have the story, their parents yeah. introduced yeah. them. That wasn't me. I watched the whole first season, not have ever having seen Karate Kid. So I was seeing like flashbacks of Daniel and Johnny, huh. and it was my first time seeing that. And I went back and watched a movie, and it was like, oh my God, there's like a whole war here and then I watched all four movies and it's great. I have Tourette's and I was a kid growing up with Tourette's and I got the crap kicked out of me on a regular basis because I was different and watching a movie like The Karate Kid is just like th those are the kinds of movies that kids like me glomped onto because like you you can get by that somehow there you just gotta hang on and learn how to do something to deflect. In in his case, it was karate. In my case, it was if I made people laugh, then chances are they weren't going to kick me in the shin. So yeah. you find a thing and you just keep going. All right, well, Vince, it's great, it's seeing, great you. seeing you. Great to see you. I'll see you tomorrow. It sounds great. It's going right. to be fun. Yes. It was nice meeting you guys. Nice, nice meeting you too. too. Take care. We'll see Enjoy. You Have a good rest of the day and all the rest of the interviews, and we'll see you tomorrow night. You too, guys. Good luck with the rest of rehearsals. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. to the zone. Yeah. Thank you. We call it. Leo? Leo. Dude, <laughs> how are ya? What's up, man? Glad you could make it. Yeah, Ramiro. See the whole <laughs> Sam, our drummer. Setup. What's up? What's going on? Thank you guys for having me. This is amazing. Happy to have you. Happy Thank to have you. you. It's I'm gonna be so pumped. a raucous time. Yeah. It's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be loud. I forgot my earplugs, so oh, I hope I'm, you do. I'm ready. You're ready? I'm right, ready. Good. Bring it on. <laughs> We've got some um, sheet music. Wait. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. Wow. 
Dun, how, how do you hold that? That's the dun 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 dun. It's just like forever. Um, Zach, do you remember when I messaged you like yes. back in 2019 about the Facebook Live? Yeah. Like how to watch it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm run but that was pre Cobra Kai Kid. That was pre Cobra Kai. That was kid. just that was proto Cobra Kai Kid. <laughs> Proto Kai. Proto Kai. see, we just have like such a huge setup. Like, Leo has a guitar, he's got a whole workstation, he's running the computer with like the backing tracks on it. Some of it is going to Sam, who's got in his ears like a click track so that he can count us off and keep us in time. I've got a guitar, Andrew's got a guitar, we've got Francisco on bass over there, and then we have a bunch of guests, uh, musicians coming in and out. Unfortunately, none of them are coming tonight, but they'll be at the show. This is an iwi. Stands for electronic wind instrument. It's basically a synthesizer that you play like a saxophone. And I can change it to any of anything I want. The I think computer there's like, is running for sounds there's a few for the guitar. Where I think actually, like, we threw just like a software synthesizer and the computer is also running all of the backup tracks. Other songs this is like the uh, brain. You're in charge of all you, that. Uh, yeah, you know, let's maybe. hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> So we have a keyboard player playing with us too, but he couldn't make it to rehearsal, but there'll be a sixth person in the band tomorrow. His name's Jeff Babco, but he couldn't make it today, so there's gonna be some things that you hear where it's not gonna sound like Miyagi-Do Fix Up. You're not gonna hear the like melody, you know, necessarily. Like there's certain things- I know how to play it. If you need me to yeah, get yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. You're up, dude. <laughs> You're up. Key of B minor? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, so we just heard that not only is Tanner going to be at the concert and he's performing, but in the audience, you're going to get Mary Mauser, Gianni DiCenzo, Vanessa Rubio, and maybe some other people, but that's who we know is coming. So we'll get to see them tomorrow, which is going to be very cool. They're about to play. <laughs> what, what does this moment mean to you right now? This is four years of loving this music and being in the same room as the guys who literally have changed my life. Like these guys like literally changed my life. Like I listen to the music every single day. It's inspired me in so many ways. I work out to this music. It's gotten me through tough times. Like this moment, means so much and it, it hasn't, they haven't even played anything yet so it's like I'm just I can't stop smiling but like this mo moment means more to me than really I can describe so it's very special <laughs>
music that plays right before I die in the video game because I'm not that good at it. Anybody who watches my streams, you guys will know. <laughs> One episode one, the very first Zack and Leo soundtrack played. Johnny's theme, Ace Degenerate. Slither. Oh, yeah. I can't even tell you how many push ups I have done to this song. Yeah.
Are you ready? It's karate time. Hey guys, so right now we are at the Troubadour. This is one of the most iconic locations in LA. You've had so many famous musicians who have played here, including Harry Styles, Bob Dylan, Elton John, and now Vince DiCola, Joe Esposito, Zach Robinson, Leo Berenberg, and the band of Cobra Kai who are gonna be a part of this history at the Troubadour. It's really gonna be a night to remember. So much is gonna happen. I'm so excited. So let's go inside and check it out. Vince, hey, it's good to see you. Good to see you. I'm ready. Are you are you ready tonight? Ready. Leo, what's up, man? Dude, what's going on? How's you, how you doing? Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right now everyone's just getting ready and soon it'll be showtime. We'll have a bunch of more people coming in. Lights will go down. Have you ever gotten that you look like Ralph Macchio? Have you ever gotten that before? <laughs> It, it's so funny because people <laughs> always tell me I look like different actors, but I've never gotten that one. <laughs> I'm just a kid from Seattle who doesn't travel that much, so being on this stage is beyond surreal. This is the Shockwave Transformer. My daughter gave me this for Father's Day. And here we are. Here's my little good luck charm on the marimba. What's How up? How's it going, Tanner? It's nice to meet you. It's nice person. to meet you. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm oh, good. You ready? Uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I've not played live in a long time. Well, I saw you shredding in the, the little footage. Sounded yeah. good. Yeah, 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 I don't know. You're modest. You're modest. It'll be, it'll be okay. It'll be great. I'm going to have a lot of fun. It's not going to play live, so it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. This yeah. Awesome. Just like so you remember Zapka, Zapka played in 2019. Yeah, I know, because I was at that one. Yeah. And then I got to talk to Zach and Leo recently. We were talking about all the music and different guitarists, because I'm a big metal head. So we were talking about all the different metal guitarists that have been on tracks, and nobody knows who they are. But they were talking to me, and I knew who everybody was, and they were like, why aren't you playing with us? I was like, sure, if you want me to play with you. I have not played in a long time, but sure, let's play. Oh my. Go for it. That is so awesome. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm so glad you're playing. Yeah, no, me too. So, but uh, I'll, I'll be back in a little bit. Yeah. Um, I was... Are you going to be up? Where are you going to be? Just out in the crowd? Or out in... We'll be in the front row. We'll be oh, there for God. the... <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in the like the VIP area. Will you be okay, there? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's where I'll be. So. Awesome. That's awesome. So I'll, awesome. I'll, I'll nice see you nice then. You, you too, man. man. You so great meeting you. Yeah, yeah. Nice meeting you. All right, man. Yeah, cool. All right. I'll be okay. back. Okay. okay, see you soon. Right. See you soon. <laughs> 
Really? Wow, that was pretty cool. Tanner Buchanan, Robbie Keane, and Cobra Kai. That was awesome. He knew who I was. Wow. I did not expect that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Obviously, I imagine this. What's up? This is my crew outfit. <laughs> this is like me being a schlebby boy. It's awesome. Right, cool. Over here. How are you doing? What's up? What's up? We just saw Tanner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you go up to him? Yeah, he, he recognized me. Of course. Who doesn't <laughs> these days? I didn't know that. That's funny. That was, he was so nice. Yeah. How's he doing with you guys? He's going to shred tonight. It's going to be really sick. He was being very modest, saying like, I don't know if I'll do, but... Yeah, no, he's gonna be great. Yeah. We just sound checked him. It's gonna be awesome. So um, I've gotta like, get ready. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm like wearing a whole black fit. <laughs> this is like my loading, I just want everyone to know. Oh, this, like, oh, this isn't, the, this isn't... This isn't the vibe. Oh, you you still have some? Yeah. Okay. I got some, so does Leo. Leo's got a good outfit. We'll see you soon. You like my wristband? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see you guys. See you, man. <laughs> Cobra Kai, Eagle Fang, and Miyagi Do. Yeah. So, who's gonna win? <laughs> What's up? What's up, man? What's up, man? Get over here. So nice following me. I'm, I'm Ben. Hey, Drew. Dude, nice so to nice meet you, to meet you, man. You like tied us over in between seasons. I mean, why I need more Cobra Kai? <laughs> and I mean, I'm flipping out like you are, man. So, oh man. I mean, just so epic. So nice to finally meet you. Oh, I, I appreciate that. Hi, hi. How are you guys? Awesome. Oh, man. Dude, Drew, yeah. thank you so much for everything you do. Of doing. course, man. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Maddie. Maddie, Drew, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Want to do the fist? Should we do? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey. hey. It's nice to see oh, you again. Guys. Yes. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Good. It's my wife, Linda. Hi. Nice to meet you, Drew. Hey, Drew. Drew. Joe and Vince, old side. Wow, that's two old guys. Photo, right? yeah. old friends. That's a legendary photo right there. That's true. <laughs> Dude, you're in the midst of Cobra Kai team. Dan, how are you? My name is Drew. Hey, I have Dan. a YouTube channel called Cobra Kai Kid. We actually did an Instagram live. Like, oh, you, awesome. you brought me on at one point. Very cool. Yeah, man. awesome to meet you, man. Awesome to meet you, too. Yeah. Hey, Danny? Yeah. Let me have it. You know better. Come on. Ah! Why is he holding you like this? Yeah, dude, I'm like, hey. I'm like a one of old timey Irish boxers. A lot of fans are excited for this. It's gonna be a cool thing. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm gonna get over there. Other side. Oh, okay. oh you're going for it? Okay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I need you to be like. But like, right at me, just like. Oh. Should, we do, should we all do it? Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. I can't wait. I can't wait. Awesome. This is it. Hold it up, Woo! Boom. Oh my god. The legends right here. Ah, oh, this is freaking awesome. How you doing? Come here. Good to see you. How's it going? You. Good to see you. How are my you? god, yes. This is the third time we've seen each other in the last like couple Stop months. Following me around. <laughs> Mary? Hi, hey, how, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh my god, it's great to see you. Good to see you too, this is Drew. This is my, my best friend, Gabrielle. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm just walking in for other It's all right, it's all right. It's, it's, it's all right, it's all right. Good, you? Yeah, good. I'm, uh, I'm excited, I'm a little nervous. I haven't seen any of this stuff like played live, so I'm excited to see it. Oh my god, yeah. I, I, I saw the rehearsal yesterday. Oh, I know. And it was, <laughs> you got to see more than me. I asked Tanner, I was like, hey, can I come to the rehearsal? And he was like, no, I don't want you to see it until it's ready. I was like, all right, whatever, dude. Like, fine, I'll come to the, I'll come when it's actually done. But, but yeah. Well, I saw Tanner before this. 
Oh, really? And he was super nice, like, so... Oh, all right, I guess. <laughs> you know, he may just be the nicest guy ever. It's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hate him. Well, I love that you guys, like, support each other and all that. Yeah, well, you know, I guess that's kind of the duty of best friends. <laughs> yeah. Kind of comes along with the territory. Yeah. And then also, I just get to come here and hang out, so, like, I'm pretending I'm here for him. Living here for Zach and Leo. <laughs> that's how Tanner died. Well, I know you came in 2019 for the the whiskey Yay! at the whiskey so you, you were, you were I was I was in my bed watching it on a Facebook Yay! live and I was like freaking out wishing I was there I saw all you guys there oh, that's awesome. and now yeah now you're here now you're in the thick of it yeah. I guess yeah I'm I guess you probably honestly know more than I do at this point About I don't even know what's gonna go down tonight oh well I'm sure you'll recognize some themes maybe your theme I, hope so. I love your theme, by the way. Say, I, I love your really theme. Like, I just found a loose thread in my shirt. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I hope it's not off. Um, I have a little scissor if you want to cut it. So. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, sorry. I, no, uh, sorry. Yeah, no, I actually like Sam's theme. And that was funny. Like, I'm so clueless about that kind of thing. And, like, they, like Zach and Leo were, like, were the first people, person, like, people to be, like, the first time around at the concert. And they were like, did you notice your theme? And I was like, yeah, I heard, like, like the sound. It sounds like Sam. And they were like, you know, did you notice anything? And we talked about kind of like the in-depth of like why they use these instruments and why they don't. And I was like, that that like genuinely changed the game for me. Where now I feel like I'm super interested in like why they like score things the way that they do. And I pay so much attention to it now. Yeah. And then also I've listened to Tanner rehearse for the last week, so I've uh, I've heard that. I'm so I, I feel like I can't play guitar, and I feel like I can play it at this point. <laughs> but you're into music. Uh, I mean, they get to music in terms of listening. We were saying the last time we were here at the Troubadour, we were seeing Sleeping With Sirens was doing like an acoustic set. Okay. And that was like the last we were, time I we think were here. Literally, literally right here. standing right, right here. here. Because my brother was hanging out at the bar. And we, were, like, we were too young, so we were literally just like hanging here. Like, listening to music. <laughs> like, but, like, I'm not crying. Yeah, exactly. It's just so bizarre. Like now just being here and being like, I yeah. don't know. Also, it's like I haven't gone to that many music events post-COVID. Yeah. So. Me, okay. me too. This is my first concert. Yeah. Since. What? Yeah. Really? Since, yeah. Well, I we've been to one. The first one with Brian. Yes. And then Megan Halifax. Yeah. And I think for me that was it. Yeah. So I guess like two or three concerts I've been to, like post post COVID world. Have you had a lot of fun getting to interact with people? Have I what? I had a lot of fun getting to interact with people here. Yeah. Yeah. It's been it's been so amazing. I mean, everyone's just so nice and like passionate about the show. And it's, that's the thing. Like, I mean, obviously knowing you and like getting to meet you, like you have that vibe, but like that's the vibe of everybody. We're just like, I understand, like not typical and very lucky. Yeah. To, like get to have this many people and just like are into the same stuff. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it. Yeah. It's, cool. it's like I'll be at home, like I'm at home, like doing my thing, uh -huh. and then I come here and it's like talking to you and like talking to everyone. It's like a different world. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. We were joking about the Hannah Montana life. <laughs> we, were, we were saying because I cut bangs. And yeah. like nobody recognized me with the bangs. Yeah. And so I was saying it's kind of like, I was like, I never believed Tanner Montana until now. <laughs> where like I'll walk around with Tanner and like it's been this thing where like we'll go and like, like been, we went on vacation together basically and it well, ended up being like a work thing. But we were like hanging out, you know, outside of it. All of us were like hanging out as like a little friend group. And people would like stop Tanner and they wouldn't recognize me. And I was like, oh I'm genuinely living the Hannah Montana. Like oh, I'm I Miley Cyrus, the out. Miley Stewart. You can't see me. No one, and they'd be like, I'm so sorry, ma'am, to stop you and ask your friend. Like, they ask, they ask you to take the picture. Yeah, like, yes, like, you're like taking a photo. She's like, no worries. <laughs> you're good. You're good. And, like, talked about her in front of her and didn't realize. Oh, oh my God. Sam's such a great character. Oh, yeah. She's like, she's a show yacht when I hear. We just met Mary Mauser, who plays Samantha LaRusso. She was super nice, and we just had a great conversation. Now they're going to get some drinks, and we're going to check out the concert, but that was... So awesome. <laughs> Josh, Josh. <laughs> How's it going? Ah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. My name, my name is Drew. I have a I have a YouTube channel, uh, Cobra Kai Kid.
Thank you for coming and welcome to a great night in the Troubadour of Film and TV Music Studio. Good night. Here. I especially want to thank Zach and Leo for choosing me to open up here. They, they have been very complimentary of my work and have not hesitated to tell me that it has influenced some of theirs. And I'm very, very appreciative and I'm very honored to be here to open up for them. Vince the call is about to go on. It's gonna be epic. Robinson and Leo Berenberg for Cobra Kai!
incredible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out to Cobra Kai Live. Uh, who saw Vince Nicola earlier? Uh, well, guess what? He's coming up right now to join us for a track. Vince Nicola. Vince was a huge inspiration for us, and we're thrilled to have you play on this. I love you! Miyagi-Do. Oh, yeah. 
skull. Anyone? Sam, Sam and Robbie. Sam and Robbie. Okay, so we have a special guest for this next one. Let's go! His name is Robbie on the show. Tanner Buchanan, everybody. Go Tanner! Are you gonna be up? Where are you gonna be? Just out in the crowd? Or no? We'll be in the front row. We'll be there for the. Season one, it's one of our favorites. Yeah.
My parents are here. Thank you both for coming. We also have, um, we have, we share some show parents. We have Josh and Hayden are here. Our dads, our other dads, our Cobra Kai dads. Right there. So, I hope they don't get mad at us that we're gonna play a season five track. our band, Andrew Sinowick on guitar. Francisco Ojeda on bass. Sam K.S. drum. Jefferson Babco. Okay. Jeff Babco. Leo on the I'm George.
my god! That was freaking unbelievable! I'm at a loss for words! Same team. How's it going? That's good. I saw you up there and I was like, I'm so happy that you're here. Yes. Uh, I gotta head out soon, but I saw you guys and so I'll say hi. Oh, thank you so much for coming down. Fun. We'll have to do that into Yeah, 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 for sure. Let's do it. How are you, are you guys doing? doing? Good. Good. Oh my god. Monday. Monday? Monday. When are you going back? Sunday. Sunday? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, awesome. How's you been having fun? It's been amazing. Like, I, I live for this. The yeah. music of the show. How are you? How are you? Hi, it was really cool. Never really get to see live music like that, but yeah. Awesome. You were at the one in 2019, right? No, I couldn't make it. I can't remember why. I was gone. OK. But I'm not sure. But this was awesome. <laughs> yeah. This was cool. See, I'm waiting on the Dimitri theme. Did you talk to them about that? I feel like that would be like um, space e music, like you know, like very digital kind of techno music, right? Yeah. Like funky techno. Well, I know there is a, there is a YouTuber, Pascal Aka, who actually composed a Dimitri theme. Really? His own version. Okay. You should check it out. It's so good seeing you, man. It's good seeing you. Leo. Dude, you killed did you it, like man. It? Did you see me? I was like freaking out the yeah, whole time. Yeah, you're right in front. Dude, oh my god. I love what you do because you play everything. It's so unique. I just got chills the whole time. It was good. amazing, good. amazing. We feel like so lucky that we get to actually like perform a score live because no one gets to do that. Yeah. And like it translates so well to like a venue like this so you can just like rock. I don't know. It's really fun to put on. I'm so happy for you guys. Thank you. You literally rocked it. Thank you. And I just noticed that shirt. That, that's what Johnny wore. Yeah, yeah. zebra shirt. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Thank you guys for everything. For like. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad you came out for this. Yeah, man. Dude, of course, man. Uh, All yeah. right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was incredible. That was fucking amazing. Uh, what was your favorite? I don't know. You killed it, man. Like, you're so freaking awesome. Like, the two of you, like, you're in sync. He's a rock god. What can he say? It's karate time. Yeah. Was pretty great. Was freaking like like what? Because it's like the whole song was just like wow with Vince. Like he he got it. Got it. How, how, Nailed it. Did you like work with him on that? He practice. He rehearsed the whole time. He showed up to practice and he just did it. You got um, Vince. You got Tanner. And you got Joe. Like I love how you yeah. guys bring everybody up. It's fun. That's like the joy of doing it. It's so fun. Who's next? I don't know. Who plays guitar? That we don't know about. Um, Ralph? Maybe Ralph plays uh, guitar? Ra Ra I don't know. Uh, we have to play in New York. Jacob. Though. Jacob plays guitar. Oh, yeah. Jacob does play guitar. Plays By guitar. the way, have you met Spencer? He's an editor. Oh. Hi. Hey, buddy. OK. You got it. You know Cobra Kai Kid? Yes, I'm familiar. <laughs> I saw you uh, rocking uh, out uh, earlier. Uh, Drew. Hey, Cobra Kai nice editor you. since season two has edited your favorite episode. I did the big school fight at the end of season two. This guy. Dude. A lot of fun, obviously. And this is my assistant editor, Nicole, who's on Cobra Kai as well. Oh it is incredible. Oh my god. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Drew. Nice, nice to meet, meet you, man. Can I just say thank you guys for everything? That for, is very for... sweet. That is very sweet. You guys are incredible. We, we love making the show, and I'm just happy that people like to watch it.
Well, everyone, that is a wrap on the making of the Cobra Kai concert. What a surreal experience. I mean, from going to Vince DiCola's house and having an in-person interview to going to South Seas and Mulholland Scenic Overlook, the locations from Karate Kid and Cobra Kai, going to Vince's band rehearsal, meeting Joe Esposito, then going down to the Cobra Kai rehearsal where we got to hear all the songs and it was like a private concert. But then today was the big day, the concert itself. It was just mind-blowing, crazy, insane. I love the music. The music has just inspired me so much. And just to be here at this concert, it means the world to me. And Zach and Leo, to Vince and to Joe and to the cast and the crew of Cobra Kai and all the fans who were at this concert and everyone who works at the Troubadour, everyone who put this thing together, thank you guys so much. You guys truly gave me such an incredible experience. And thank you to Ken Cole. He helped record everything that you see. He's a great filmmaker and a great friend too. So it was awesome getting to work with him. And thank you last but not least to you, everybody watching right now. Couldn't have done this without you. You guys literally have given me this platform where I can just come out and do these things and live my dream. And it's such an honor getting to make content for you guys. You guys are the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. So thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time on Cobra Kai Kid. Until then, remember, Cobra Kai. Never dies.